This is a stand that I made for our two printers. This video will show the construction and I'll be attaching edge banding and staining it dark brown in the next video. I wanted to get a video because I haven't uploaded it in a long time. I got sick after the workbench video was released so I couldn't work for a week. So here you see me marking out the pieces. This includes the 16 inch pieces, the 13 inch pieces, and the 19 inch pieces for the legs. Uh, this time I'll actually have a sketch up diagram in the description of the video. Just click that link and it'll bring you to a Google Drive file and you can just download it. Make sure you actually have SketchUp downloaded before you download the file or else it won't work. So here I clamped together all of the leg pieces and I trimmed down the edges just to get them all to be the exact same length. And I'm doing this for every single piece that I'm cutting from now on. So I went through the leg pieces just to see what pieces would go well together. So for example, uh, these A pieces here, I just labeled them A and they will be one leg. So I clamped up the legs and I'm just going to let them sit overnight now. So I just finished up the legs. I chiseled off the extra glue and sanded the legs down and I cut all the legs to the exact same length. So I have all the pieces cut out, and to join them together, I'm going to use my new pocket hole jig. Pocket hole jig I'm using is the Craig K4 pocket hole jig. I know some other companies make them, but really the Craig jigs are the only ones that I've seen. So here I'm screwing into the pocket holes and I had to clamp a lot down to hold everything together. I had to make sure that the board I was screwing in didn't move. In the last shot, I screwed in a board without using the spacers that lifted it up half an inch from the surface of the workbench. I had to back the screws out and re-screw the board in with the spacers. This left some holes, which I filled with the wood filler that I made by pouring a bit of glue on top of pine sawdust. So I have to have the top and the shelf cut out before I'm able to assemble the main frame because it doesn't just slide into the frame, but there are notches to keep it in there. So I won't be able to just assemble the frame and then slide in the top. So here I'm cutting out the notches that will go around the legs. To cut out the notches, I'm using a cheap Black & Decker jigsaw. I clamp the top on and let it sit overnight. Thanks for watching. Also, I'll be staining this dark brown and be attaching edge banding in the next video.